What is up everybody? Hope you're doing well. So I said that I was going to do these vlogs like once a week. Well, that just hasn't happened. So it's been a few weeks. So I thought I'd give you guys an update as you know, as far as what is going on, what I've been doing in here. Now it doesn't look much different than what it did before, but there has been so much progress the last few weeks because uh, we are really hitting this hard. I want to be done with this whole project in April. So that's why I'm hitting it really hard because we've got a lot that we want to get done because we're going to travel this summer. So hence the reason we are getting after it. So let me show you what I've been up to lately. So um, I posted the other day about all the wiring and everything and how I was going to update that. So I, you can see right here, uh, I'm actually as of today completely done with rewiring everything up front here. So we've got our battery set up. Now we will upgrade to what are called AGM batteries, which are a little bit lighter than these just uh, lead acid batteries. But we've got our converter and then all of our like fuses and breakers all come in right here, which is really handy. And so, um, so there's that, got all the wiring going in here. So this is kind of like the command center for the fuses and switches and everything like that. So. Also, what I've completely done is all the wiring in here was original um, from 1977. Now, for our puck lights and everything, which I, I posted about the other day, um, I'm actually going to reuse those wires because they're still in great shape. So next step is I'm going to wire puck lights all the way down the middle. And um, But what I did with all the other wiring, like for the plugs and everything, is all new wiring. So you can see brand new plugs here and um there used to be wires like running across and everything and so uh, we kind of rerouted things to make it um just a cleaner run and um so that's done now so that's that's huge all these plugs are working and um i didn't burn down the trailer so that's always a bonus so little treat that i found back here um, you know, I thought that we had everything completely sealed up, which we did. We hadn't had any more leaks. But back here when I was doing wiring the other day, I noticed that um, you see like this black, like tarp-like material um, that's on the wood. That was put on there. It was like glued onto the wood by the folks that um, redid, put in the new subfloor, did the lift and everything. And um, what I noticed the other day was that water was getting trapped beneath the wood and the plastic. And so it was like very damp, the wood was very wet. So I had a big fan going on it for a couple days to dry it out. And then I put some flex seal on there. Um, I've redone all the this, this seams and resealed everything on the inside and the outside. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. So hopefully that wood will stay dry now, but it was just like one of those headaches um, that I didn't really want at this point because I thought we were through all that. So um, anyway, so that is what has been going on with that. So I'm going to take you guys and show you something else I've been working on. Okay, so where the Vista windows go, you know, the ones that are kind of like the skylight windows, we had these um, things, these are called the shades, right? The Vista View shades, and they had gotten really brittle and a couple, like, a couple of them were really broken and were falling apart. And so I learned how to do plexiglass, I think. Plexiglass? Fiberglass, that's what it is, fiberglass. So I redid these and repainted them and they're much stronger now. So um, I've got three of these done and these will go back in. So it'll actually give us like a shade that we can pull down over those skylight windows and so once i get done with wiring the switches for the puck lights then we will rivet these things back in so okay that's it for this vlog this time so we'll see you next time